Hey guys, I'm Daryl and welcome to this episode of our off-road camper. Now, I had a phone call the other day that was quite bizarre and it was a softly spoken man on the other end of the phone saying, the box you've ordered is ready and it took me a little bit to work out what it was, but it's the drawbar box for the camper trailer, which I'm really chuffed about. I'm hoping that when I get there it's okay. Um, I've never seen any of these guys work before, although uh, they seem to have a fair presence in the industry, so I'm sure it will be. So I've got the readily old number five army trailer hooked up to the Jeep to get this thing, and it is quite amusing that after having the camper sitting behind this Jeep uh, without moving anywhere and a joy to tow, putting on the original number five trailer again, and it just being skitterish behind the Jeep. It's, it's, it, you can see where the gains that we've made uh, with the chassis on the trailer. But I just thought I'd bring you guys along today. We're nearly at the manufacturer or the retailer of, of these things. over the spare tyre, this thing is loaded into the trailer now. Lovely people, um, really happy getting it through this place. They're just a wholesaler, um, no airs and graces, but I'm more than happy to deal with that. I did have a look at some of their other boxes in the warehouse. They look good, and on, I didn't open this up or anything because I don't want to get it scratched. However, on first inspection, it, it looks great. I'm more than happy with it. So, Let's get it home, let's unwrap it, and uh, let's go through what we've done. Well, we're home. I've got it out of the trailer. I've used, oh, there's no one around, so I've had to do it by myself. I've used the ladder as a ramp to get it out of the trailer because the number five trailers don't have a drop down tailgate. Um, got a bit dodgy, but it's done, so that's a good thing. But let's open this thing up and have a look at it. I haven't seen it myself. Um, Um, you'll see with the front of it, I've got a uh, welded on cross member on the drawbar and I've had a rebate put in here so that will just slide into that and I can bolt to that at the front. At the back of the box it will just bolt into the camper shell as the previous boxes have. Now it's a gullwing door design and I've had the gull wing doors open up as far as I could get them so you could walk up to the camper at the drawbar height. And I'm really chuffed with how that's turned out. Now on the front of this, we'll probably mount a gas bottle and the Max Tracks. On the top of it, um, I'll put some tie downs and we can also use that for storage. Now, it looks as though it's got a good weather seal around the door, which is good. Um, we've got a couple of gas struts on either side and some stainless latches, two on either side that are lockable. This has cost me $1,500 and the quotes that I had ranged anywhere from two and a half grand to five for exactly the same box. 
So I think for, I have been concerned and I think I said on the way over it was a bit of a leap of faith. But um, at this point it looks really nice. It's a really nice box. The powder coating is pretty good. I can't really complain about it. And um, so are the welts. Now inside we've got two uprights front and back. You can see the rebate I've had put in here and there's three cross members at the top. Material thickness is two and a half millimetre aluminium. At this point of time the only thing I can think of is that I may have to put a false floor in it. That'll give it a bit more rigidity too and it will lift the floor up uh, further towards the lip because the lip at the bottom is um, more than what I thought it would be. These people were really easy to deal with, although you do need to know what you're after. Um, I just forwarded a drawn up sketch of my dimensions, and dimensions are 1100 wide. At the sides, it's 900 deep, and it's 600 millimeters high. So it's the same height as the box that I made that's on the camper. Uh, it's slightly wider and certainly um, more in depth. The top section, I'll just measure. I can't remember what that is. The top section with the doors open is just under 800 millimetres. So there's a heap of space on it compared to what I have. Um, I, I don't want to drill too much through the outer layer of it. We may, I may put a double thickness skin on it or something. And so I'm bolting to that instead of bolting through the outer shell. I think that would be uh, a good option. So what are we putting in here? Well, a fridge and I need to make some measurements to see what fridge I can fit in there. Um, I'd like to upgrade my fridge. There'll be two 100 amp lithium batteries. There'll be the fuse board with the BC-DC charger and some storage. As I said, we'll mount the gas bottle on the front. So I've got to get a gas bottle holder and we'll mount the max tracks on the front of it. All the doors close, open and close really nicely. be quite a, a pleasing profile on the uh, drawbar and it should add a lot to the look of the camper and that's where I may leave it for today instead of trying to rush in and get this other box off and this one fitted I'd rather take my time um, and go through the process and, and do it properly instead of just trying to rush into it um, once it is fitted as I said we'll do some measurements see how everything fits in it um, I'll do some background work with what fridges I can fit in it and what I can't fit in it um, and we can go from there but it's really going to add to the camper this is this is a really nice box uh, and it's a really really professional finish um, it's better than anything that I could do so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time bye now